Hey loves, it's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel and to an extreme KonMari Clean With Me 2019. Are you ready for some serious decluttering and cleaning motivation? You are in the right place. You can see how messy and disorganized everything was before, and I'll be sharing a tour at the end of how everything turned out after I Marie kondo my master closet, bathroom, and master bedroom. So you guys know my anxiety has been off the charts lately, so honestly at this point, it calls for some extreme KonMari style decluttering. Like I just need my mental headspace back when it comes to how cluttered and disorganized and dysfunctional that this space has become. And before we get hard and heavy into this mess, I'm so excited because this video is a collab with the gorgeous Belinda Celine. I feel like we are long lost YouTube soul sisters because we connected when we did an Instagram collab this fall and I love everything about her. She has amazing cleaning videos. I love her decor style. We even had the same Buffalo check duvet for Christmas. And she does DIYs, organizing and planning videos. Seriously, you will love her channel. So please, after this one, check out her cleaning and decluttering video for extra cleaning motivation and make sure you tell her I sent you in the comments. And her video will be linked in the description box down below. And if Belinda sends you, please introduce yourself in the comments so that everyone else in this supportive community can get to know you and make sure that you subscribe if you enjoy cleaning, routines, and day in the life vlogs. We would love to have you here and also you can join me over on my other socials. You can find me at Bits of Brie. So here we are in my hot mess of a closet. I know this is sped up speed cleaning style, but not kidding. This closet cleanup took me almost seven hours. Clearly I'd accumulated way too much stuff, but I wanted to do a true KonMari with everything, every clothing item, every shoe, every bin, bag, every piece of jewelry, and actually ask myself, do I need this? Does this bring me joy? Is this sentimental? Have I used this in the past year or even the last couple of months? And if the answer was no, I purged it and just wait until the end when you see how much I purged. You can place a guess right now. How many boxes do you think I filled up from things that I decided to purge? Kind of insane, um, but seriously, this needed to happen. And I just tried to group everything that I was keeping together by color or by like items just so that it was displayed very neatly. So I grouped together all of my dresses by color, then my pants, and then I put all of my shirts in rainbow order. And I grouped tanks together, t-shirts together, long sleeves together within each color. And I think it did help make it look a lot neater. So for the first time, in my closet's history, I have all white hangers. It is about time. You guys have commented every organization video I've done about the hangers, so it's finally all white. And those are all the ones that I'm going to be donating. And then my jewelry had just gotten so out of control. So I use these two jewelry stands that I got on Amazon and these acrylic drawers to make sure that everything was neater, easier to find. And again, grouping everything by like colors or similar style pieces. After a sweep of the closet with my new Dyson that I'm obsessed with, and it's so nice to finally be able to see the floor in here, I'm gonna move into the bedroom to start tackling my dresser drawers. Now, I had this dresser stuffed to the brim 
and I kind of had it organized by like items at least. The top drawers were socks, next layer of drawers were tanks, next layer t-shirts, and the bottom drawers were long sleeve shirts. But I completely emptied the dresser drawers, did the same KonMari test as in the closet. Do I need this? Does it bring me joy? Is it sentimental? And I purged whatever I could and then folded everything KonMari style. Now, I don't think I'm an expert at folding like Marie Kondo, but I am going to keep on trying to do this because I could not believe the amount of space that this saved in my drawers. I got so much space back. Even if I didn't purge anything, it would have made everything so much neater. And I would just recommend, even if you have an hour, fold as many clothes as you can Marie Kondo style. And I think you will be so pleased with the results. Moving to my bedside dresser, it was just so full of clutter and I was able to purge so much. So it just feels so freeing to get rid of junk, have more space back, the anxiety seriously melts away. And you can judge me, I got rid of so many clothes, guys. But I'm so excited to donate this stuff and anything that could be good for Poshmark, I will add it to my Poshmark closet. So it is now after 10 at night. I've been doing this since about 3.30 this afternoon, so nearly seven hours. I didn't even stop to eat. <laughs> I was just trying to power through. Um, but I still want to do a really good deep clean of the bedroom and a deep clean of the bathroom and just KonMari all of the drawers in the bathroom too. So I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow. So this is going to be like a marathon KonMari decluttering and cleaning video. So I'm going to deep clean the bedroom and the bathroom after I KonMari everything. Oh, I'm ready to pass out. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. We're gonna keep on con Maureen. Well, it doesn't rhyme, but we're gonna head into the bathroom. <laughs> Still have the PJ mask costume on. That's great. And I've got this to fuel me through more con Maureen. I'm ready. Okay, so while I go through the drawers and the baskets, I'm gonna start getting my tub clean. So I'm gonna use the tub and tile to clean like the ring around the bathtub. You can like, see it's thick. Um, and then I'm gonna use this Oh Yuck. Adam found this on Amazon. We've already used it once. Um, he was the one who actually did it because he took a bath and he's like, I think it really does work. So I'm excited to try this today. And I'm gonna use the same tub and tile in here in the shower. I just decided to tackle cleaning the mirrors and the counters and the sinks while the tub was filling up so that the bathroom would be nice and clean smelling while I decluttered all of the drawers and under the sink. And I pulled out my Rubbermaid Reveal cleaning brush. It's like a cleaning power tool, guys. I love it. I tested a bunch of cleaning products in a video this summer, and I love this gadget. If there's anything crusted on my drain or mold in the shower grout, this is perfect for getting it out. Okay, so it says once that this has filled up over the jet, you're supposed to turn them on, so. I'm gonna let this run for 15 minutes then while I clean some other stuff and ew, you can already see like gunk floating. 
So while I'm letting those jets run and the oh yuck do its thing, I'm gonna tackle the toilet and then clean out my shower stall. And if you're new here, I could not recommend the Clorox Toilet Wands. They are a lifesaver. I hate cleaning out the toilet, but they make it so much easier. I also love this Clorox rotating scrub brush for in the shower and the bathtub. It's like the blown up version of that Rubbermaid brush and it makes it so much easier on my back to clean the shower and the tub instead of scrubbing by hand. very well but there is a lot of like gunk floating do you guys see that oh that's so gross Ugh. okay I'm gonna use my scrub brush and like do the ring and then drain this puppy So fast verdict on this oh yuck jetted bathtub cleaner. Based on all of that gunk in the tub, I would say yes, this does work. And after the tub drains, you're supposed to wipe it out with a damp cloth, but I seriously think that oh yuck will be a new must have for cleaning those jets. Now time to KonMari my bathroom drawers, starting with my makeup drawer and using that same method to figure out if I needed to keep anything. Was I using it? Did I like it? And I was actually able to get rid of a lot of products that I just didn't use anymore, but I emptied every single drawer, cleaned them all out with the Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle Multi-Surface Spray, which smells amazing, and then I kept going through every single item. This does take a while, but I put on some Disney tunes while I did this, so if you see my mouth moving, it's totally because I was singing along while I worked. Um, next, I tackled the medicine cabinet, and. I just got it more organized by grouping like things together. There was a lot of stuff that I got sent that I'm just putting in a storage bin and saving it for later. I just wanted this to be minimal and only put the products that I use every single day on these shelves. Underneath the sink had just become loads of hair and bath products that I just wasn't using. So I was able to get rid of a lot and make it a much cleaner space and clear out a lot of the bins. In my shower, I took out all the shampoos and conditioners that I'm no longer using. That helped free up this shelf space as well. Then I wanted to declutter the overstuffed basket that I had next to the tub, and I just got rid of any of the bulky packaging or things I didn't use, put everything more neatly into that basket.
Moving back to the bedroom, I wanted to do a good dusting and clean of all of the mirrors in here. And I'm using the same Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle Multi-Surface Spray and then the Method Glass Cleaner in Mint, which smells amazing. I use this on the shower stall and in the bathroom mirrors too. I've actually got three trips in the next two months. So I have some new luggage from CalPAC and I got these organizing cubes in rose gold as well. So I cannot wait to put all this stuff to use. And if you're new here, I love doing travel vlogs. So yes, I will be vlogging my trips. Okay, so the final thing I have to do is vacuum all the floors, but my Dyson, I got a new one. I'm obsessed with it. It's charging right now. So I figured I would do a fast little tour to show you how all of the drawers turned out. And I'm not kidding, if you've been following my anxiety, I like, the weight is lifted off my chest. Like literally, it feels so good to like have all the stuff out and like be organized, so. Here is what my little cupboard in the bathroom looks like now. So I kind of grouped them by like face stuff, teeth, lotion. That scent is so good, by the way. Um, my contact stuff, deodorant, tanning. That's a jewelry cleaner and my vitamins. Okay, down in this drawer, I have my actual like care of vitamins. Um, and then I showed in another video recently, I organized this one in like a Dollar Tree DIY video. This is a Dollar Tree bin, so if you wanna check out that video. And then this is gonna be all of my makeup that I don't either use on a daily basis or it's the stuff that I like overbought because of some good sales, so I don't run out, and a lot of my palettes and my brush cleaners are all in this drawer. And I got these clear organizers from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods about a year ago, I think. Um, and then this drawer, I decided to change it up because honestly, it gave me a lot of anxiety of how I couldn't like tightly keep all of my curling iron and blow dryer. So I got this new rose gold case way back in December from Ulta and I finally am actually using it. I still need to like, ah, I still need to cut the tag off of it. But this has been my everyday makeup and I like keeping it all in a case like this instead of having it spread out because it's easier for me just to like set it up here on my counter, do my makeup, throw it all back in and not worry about it getting unorganized. Um, and then I like, I can just throw it back in. But it came with these other cases so I just have them stored in there too. So I can use those for the upcoming travel. Then here, honestly, I kept these like the same way I had them stacked before, but the bins are just so much more cleared out because of all of the stuff I threw out. So this is kind of my Bath and Body Works bin. I've got like the off season scents and candles and soaps in there. This is now my hair bin. I recently switched to Monet. I think I'm saying that right. Um, but my photographer, Molly, she her hair looked amazing. Like I saw the difference in a month of her using it, so I'm switching to all of their products. Um, I need to figure out if they have hairspray though. I kept my Nexus hairspray. I really do like this hairspray, but if they have like a better hairspray, I'm gonna switch that out. But that's why I got rid of all the other like random hair products that I had in there. Um, this is all of my travel sized goodies. This is a Dollar Tree bin and I just put anything that's travel in here so that when I go to travel, I can take out just like what I need for that trip. Um, this is like shaving razors. I put a couple of like face masks and like tanning. This is kind of, I guess, like a random drawer. Um, this one has all of my contact solution and teeth whitening and a pregnancy test back there. Um, but I need to get my life together before that happens. 
Um, this drawer, I have all of, again, the curling iron, straightening iron, blow dryer, and brushes. Just because it's like, if it could all fit into that compact drawer and I really just don't have a good way to organize it, that's just how it's gonna be. Um, and then this one is different hair products. So in this little jar, which used to be like a Bath and Body Works mini candle, I just took the wax out, um, is all the bobby pins. This is another just tiny container. I think it was from either the Dollar Tree or TJ Maxx. Um, but I put like clips in there. And then in this Dollar Tree bin, I put the rubber bands, hair ties, kind of I'm dividing it. This is a little like travel um, rubber band and hair tie kit. And then I have all my headbands back here. And I just, this I've had forever. I think I've had this since college. It has all the different colorful hair ties, but I figure I'll keep those because I think P probably, eventually is gonna probably want all of those hair ties. So I prefer, I don't know if you see right here, I prefer either using the neutral colored ones or my very favorite are these ones. I just think they do so much less damage on your hair. It's actually the one I'm wearing today. And I showed in a video recently of just fast ways to tidy up that don't cost you anything. I like rolling my towels just cause we don't have a linen closet in our bathroom. And I feel like it looks more spa-like when they're rolled and in a basket than if they're just folded and stacked in the baskets. And then this basket is for when I do take my bubble baths and relax in here now that my tub is all clean and I've got my TV there. Um, but it's all of my bath salts and different face masks and this lip scrub, guys. It is freaking amazing. It is like the best lip scrub in the world. And I have all of my oils and stuff in that basket. I just got rid of like the extra shampoos and stuff I wasn't using here, so I feel like it really helped clear out my side. I mean, Adam's doesn't look horrible, but I mean, he can KonMari his stuff next. But seriously, I think it's like the drawers, it just blows me away that like this used to take up two drawers of space and now I put all of my socks into these organizers instead of using them for my t-shirts and tank tops. So it's like the socks used to all be in two different drawers. Now they're all in one and it's so much easier to grab them. There's still probably like more I could even get rid of, but all my tank tops are now folded one drawer. Same thing, my t-shirts were in two drawers. Now I just have more space. Um, and my long sleeve tees, these also used to take up two drawers. One is now completely empty. So it is just crazy, the space that you can save by folding things a little neater and differently. be happier with how the closet now looks with the all white hangers oh, it just like gives me so much peace when I look at it and I ended up I found these pins when I was looking for some ones under the base or under the kitchen sink um, that I had in the basement and I don't know if I'm gonna keep them here but I feel like they go with like the other black and white bins so if I find a use for them I ended up just throwing in like a couple accessory bags into this one I don't know if I'll keep them um, and just seeing my jewelry in here too. I don't know if you've watched me for a while. I had all my jewelry on this, on my vanity in our master, but Presley, honestly, she would play in it and it all got twisted together and destroyed. So I think this is kind of my like kid proofing way. And I just went through things I didn't use. Honestly, I feel like that's the crazy thing of doing this is like once you can actually inventory what you have, you stop and think so much more like could I just get rid of those? Like, am I really gonna use it that much? But, you know, it's like, do I really need all of these different colored dangly feather earrings? I'm not sure. I could probably get rid of half of them and still live my life. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I try to just keep the ones that I felt like, oh, I really love these, or I've totally used them a lot and I wanna hang on to them, or they're kind of like the staples or like very sentimental ones that I just don't wanna let go of.
So all of this is what got purged between the bathroom and the drawers and the closet and it feels so good. But okay, hopefully my Dyson is charged by now. I'm gonna finish doing the floors. Don't forget to go check out my girlfriend, Belinda Celine. You'll love her. Like, I love her channel. I feel like we're YouTube soul sisters. I don't know why I haven't known her the whole time I've been doing YouTube, but I love her. I know you guys will too. And I'm gonna finish sweeping up the floors here. Make sure you subscribe and I hope that this inspires you to do whether it's cleaning, organizing, a KonMari of your room, your closet, your house, your drawers, whatever it might be because if you especially are feeling any kind of anxiety like I've been feeling, it truly is a weight lifted off of my chest and has made such a difference. So I could not recommend this more. It feels so good. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Before you go, let me know in the comments how you think everything turned out and if there's something else you want me to KonMari next. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Feel free to check out some of these as well.